Aristides Aquino is going to grab a bat now. She'll be asked to get things started in the top half of the 11th. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Back goes Grisham, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. Digging hard, he's headed for third. And he will make it in safely. He's in at third as the go-ahead run. Now that the center fielder, Nick Senzel. At the plate, Nick Senzel. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. Yates enters the day in third place among closers in all-star fan voting so it remains to be seen if he gets his invite to this year's festivities yeah and you don't want to leave it up to a manager's decision you want to get in based on the fan vote and he has a chance to do exactly that if he can make a late push as we head towards the midsummer classic now the 2-0 and here's a slider for a cold strike nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike no shame in tipping your hat And it's two balls and two strikes now. This is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint, you're just trying to create hard contact and get it by that infield. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And the go-ahead run stays at third with one big out on the scoreboard now. Here's the first pitch. And a ball, 1-0. Boy, this is a dicey situation right here, D, where with the runner in scoring position, the sack fly brings that run in. This is where you're going to really have to try to keep the ball on the ground as a pitcher. What do you want to do as a hitter, D, Row? Yeah, right here, you are looking for anything above the belt. You see it up, you have to let it go. This is where you have to check your ego at the door. Something has to be elevated and put into the outfield. Give your team a chance to score a run. Again, another foul ball. Now the one and two pitch. And he will look at a called third strike. And that go ahead run has to stay right where it is at third with two away now. Here's the first pitch. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Boy, this guy comes out of the pen. He loves coming in in spots like this. Tight situations. This is exactly the type of game that he loves to come into. Hit hard down the line. And he strikes him out here for route number three. Robert Stevenson takes over now to start the home 11th, and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12th. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Stevenson. A 27-year-old, he was a first-round pick back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2-2. Two and two. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball as it holds at 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a liner. And a leaping effort, but it's off his glove. And he'll reach first safely. Now back. Into the box, Tommy Pham. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. The winning run is at first base. And it's fouled away. Takes this the other way to right. In there, a base hit. Throw comes into the infield, and the winning run moves up to second now with nobody out. At the plate now, Fernando Tatis Jr. One ball, no strikes to count. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. The one-and-one one pitch. Swung on and missed that strike two. 
Yeah, Matty, you see the same pitch three times in a row and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times or do I have to sit on something else? Now the three and two pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Step on the bag for one. Over to Votto and they're able to get them both. So a big moment in the ball game here. Eric Hosmer as he'll hit with the go-ahead run at third and two away. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. No problem with that take right there. First pitch from a reliever. Got to calibrate that velocity. And a classic 0-2 pitch as the changeup misses low. And it's one and two now. And he strikes him out to retire the side. So we'll play at least one more. On to the 12th frame in this one. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Mike Moustakis. Hey, not an easy thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off of a guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. A 1-1. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Moustakis will take the turn and hit for second. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. The third base is number seven. A Eugenio. Standing in now, Eugenio Suarez. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. So a big spot here in stepping in, Nicholas Castellanos. And he could very well get the intentional pass here, as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. That's wide, 2-0. Oh. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Hey. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Hey, you get 2-0, oh, your eyes light up. But you're sitting in one spot, and he obviously didn't get it right there. But he still finds himself in a 2-1 count, ready to do some damage. Three balls and a strike to the Reds' left fielder. The 3-1 pitch. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Now the three and two pitch. Tapped out in front of home. Throw in time at first for route number two. Striding in, Alex Blandino. Now batting. Alex Here's the first pitch. On one. Ah, he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0-2. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. Hit hard on the ground to third. Machado is there. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is. Bottom of the 12th inning now, and set to go is the third baseman, Manny Machado. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Machado. Down the left field line and deep, and that will end up a foul ball. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Line to the right side. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Here's Brian Dozier now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. This is on the ground over to first. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. So digging in with a chance to win it here, Caleb Hamilton, as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. Now the 
Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. That one's in there, three and one. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. I always felt, though, too, you had to cover away. If a guy's going to bury you in three times in a row, you tip your cap and walk back to the dugout because that's not easy to do. Little chopper back to the mound. And that's the second out. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Kirby Yates. No and with absolutely no bullpen arms left, this is going to be their guy until the game is over or until they decide to roll some position players out there on the mound. Obviously, this is never a position you want to find yourself in as a manager, Matt, but it does happen from time to time, and maybe I should start getting that old shoulder loosened up. 13th inning ready to begin. And next to hit is the catcher, Tucker Barnhart. The catcher, Tucker Barnhart. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Line to the right side. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. Philip Urban will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. For Cincinnati. Number six, Philip Irving. Line drive to left. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. now Digging in once again, team. Nick Senzel. He struck out swinging Senzel. in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Sam is there, and it's a three. Rysel Iglesias enters the game now as he'll get the responsibility of trying to send this one to a 14th inning. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. The one two. And a change up swung on and missed for the first down. Striding in and working on a terrific performance in this one. Trent Grisham. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five hit performance here. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Digging in and looking for more, Tommy Pham. And he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. One and oh, the count. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. This is line to left. And this is down for extra bases. And there's your winning run moving into scoring position. And they will not get him at third. He's in there with two away as the winning run. So now to the plate, Fernando Tatis Jr. So watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. Grounded to short. Roll on to first is going to be in time, and that means set to begin the 14th inning and standing in is the on base machine first baseman Joey Votto pitch on the way lofted in the air out toward right center Myers has the best view of this one so he'll take it for the first down into the box now Jesse Winker two hits in six tries for him thus far Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. A little over anxious that time as it's a ball and a strike. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. The 1-1 one -one home. He is taken high above the zone.
Now this is on the ground for Hosmer over there at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So now the Reds cleanup hitter, Mike Moustakis. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Lays off again, and it's two and oh. Two out, nobody on. A strike, and it's two and one. The count is two and one. The set and the two and one. And he missed again, high and away this time, three and one. Eugenio Suarez would be next. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Now at the plate, Eugenio Suarez. There are two gone and the possible go ahead run at first. Called a strike on the outer half, 0 and 1. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And a sliding effort there, but he can't get a glove on it, a base hit. And some trouble now in right field. And he'll get in there safely. The left field is a field. It's tough to go. And it appears they're going to give him the intentional walk here, so now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. The batter. And now is the Stanford product, Alex Blandino, as he'll hit with the go-ahead run at third and two away. Weekly hit to third. On to first, and the Reds' rally comes. On to the bottom of the 14th, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Eric Hosmer. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. So he sets him down the swinging. Eric Hosmer is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. Strike one to start the at bat. And it's one and one. Well, late in a game like this, calls that don't go your way can really throw you off when you're on the mound, but you just can't let it happen. His composure is getting a little test right here. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Here comes the first pitch. And a strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one. Turned on down the line. But this will get foul for strike two. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do. New inning set to get underway, and next to bat will be Tucker Barnhart. The catcher, Tucker Barnhart. First pitch on its way. Weakly hit towards first. He's got it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So here's the Reds pitcher, Rysel Iglesias. Rysel Iglesias. He's ready. Here's the first offering. one delivery boy in a perfect spot for the splitter there it's 0 and 2 he knows his strengths and weaknesses at the plate he knows he has a cold zone away but the bottom line is this pitcher has been able to execute to that spot if he misses over the heart of the plate this guy's still going to be ready now batter the center fielder Nick Senzel stepping in now Nick Senzel as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. There's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Digging in, Joey Votto. And looking to improve on a one-for-five effort so far. Here's the first pitch. 
Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? On to Hosmer, a double play. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that'll bring in go. the first-year catcher, Hamilton. Caleb Hamilton. The catcher. And that misses for ball one. Hamilton. A ball and a strike. This is in the air out to right. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Standing in, Kirby Yates. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Fouled away. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. This one's flared out toward left. Castellanos will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. Into the box now, Will Myers. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Seared down the first baseline. Into the wind, the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. To third. Throw on to Votto will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. All set for the start of the inning, and standing in the outfielder, Jesse Winker. The right fielder, Jesse Winker. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Here's the 0-1. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound. And to check swing and not chase that one puts himself right back in the count. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Line toward the gap in left center. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. The batter number nine. Second baseman, Mike Moustakis. At the plate, Mike Moustakis. As he rips it on the ground to second. That's through for a base hit. And he's putting together a monster line in this one. They just can't get him out. Throw will hold him at second. But the go-ahead runs in scoring position now with still nobody out. The third base number seven. Eugenio. Into the box now. Eugenio Suarez. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Grounded back up the middle. Dozier on to first, and they get them both. Stepping into the box, Nicholas Castellanos. And he bats in a big spot here. Go ahead, run at third, two men out. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. Well, this has been a lot of pitches for him out of the bullpen, as you can see there. They're asking a lot of him in this one, so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a day off or two after this one. The set and the 1-1. One, one. One Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. This is foul right side. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Myers is under it. Makes the catch. Bottom of the inning now, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Trent Grisham. Hit in the air out to right. Right fielder is on the run, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. 
Striding in and working on a terrific performance in this one, Tommy Pham. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five-hit performance here. And there are two away now. Stepping in, Fernando Tatis Jr. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Out in front of it, strike one. Ball one. Wow, oh, that grounder got him. Unable to recover, he's safe at first, and now the attention turns back to the guy on the mound. Into the box, Eric Hosmer, as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And that's through for a hit. Throw comes in quickly, but the winning run is in scoring position now with two away. Standing in now, Manny Machado. No balls and a strike to count. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Hit in the air out to left field. Left fielder is on the move, but it's over his head, and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. Every game has its offensive stars, and in this one, he arguably shined the brightest. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no doubt about this selection. A cycle is about equivalent to a no-hitter for a pitcher. It's something we're all...